Mr. Berenbaum, according to your complaint, Ms. Adams was your girlfriend. She lived in your apartment, your house. Is it house or an apartment? House. House. For a period of time, she's no longer your girlfriend, and you claim she owes you money for a car deposit and for some rent. Ms. Adams says that there was a rental arrangement when she moved in, that she agreed to pay you $750 a month. Is that how much the rent was? That is correct. $750 a month. You moved in in December? I moved in the end of November. December 1st was the first payment. So December 1st, she gave you $750, correct? It was $700. Say $700. And you accepted the $700. Yeah. Great. And January, she also paid you $700. I don't think so. Um, she got sick in January. Well, let's, and, let um, me see. She moved in in December. We agreed on $750 a month. Right. That's what you say. Not long after she moved in, she ended up having some surgery. When was your surgery? My first was emergency surgery. They had to remove my gallbladder and repair internal hernia. When? It was January 15th. So you didn't work in January? I did not work for eight weeks in January into February. Okay, so did you pay January and February? Yes, Your Honor, From I when? paid. I, I get paid every end of the month, so it's a month behind. So I paid December, January, and February. March, April, I did not pay. And that's because you were out? Because yes, you and I had surgery. two surgeries in that time. Okay, and you acknowledged that, that she had two surgeries? Yes, yeah, she did, but right. she didn't pay me what she claims. She only paid me twice for rent for December, and I have one check for February. Okay, great. She was your girlfriend? She was. And she was ill? Yep. And that's why she wasn't working? Otherwise, right. she was working, right? Correct. And you were taking care of her? Yes. And she was taking care of you when she was able. <laughs> yeah, when she was able. Mm -hmm. And then there's some nonsense here about a down payment for a car. When was that? It's not nonsense. Um, when it was, was it? in, um, I think it was in December. No, actually, I can tell you the exact date. Uh, actually, November 2nd, I helped her with a down payment. It was a loan. November 2nd? 2015. Mm -hmm. A year ago. Now, when she moved in in December and she paid you, according to you, $700, did you ask her about the November loan? Yeah, I, I asked. Yeah. She didn't get paid all summer because that's the way her work structured it. Well, we're not it. talking about during the summer. We're talking November. November 2nd is when you gave her $1,100 towards the down payment. She only got paid monthly. She didn't have the funds. She said she'd pay me back when she could. Okay. Well, she can't because her defense to your action of these rent payments after her surgery and this year-old $1,100 is that that's what people do when they're living together as a couple. Were you living together with her as a couple? We were, but we had a rent agreement. Yeah, that's fine. Anything else you want to tell me? Me in particular? Um, yeah, yeah, she... Just you. I'm not asking for any questions. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a bunch of loans made during that time for living expenses. I have, I have them all outlined here. Um, she paid for the DMV for $650. I have like vitamins and Amazon for 418, surgery for 225. Mr. Birnbaum, have yeah. you ever been married, sir? I have. And you divorced, I assume? Yes. You went to court? When you w got divorced, did you go to court? Um, I did, but it wasn't, it was just this, I was just by myself. It was an uncontested divorce? Yeah. Was that in what state? Texas. Did you have to divide property? Mm hmm. And there were rules in Texas about dividing property with a spouse, I assume. Yes. Whatever they were, either it's an equitable distribution or it's community property, whatever it was, you know what the parameters are. Do you understand? Unfortunately, we don't have the same rules with people who are housekeeping together. And we don't have courts that can indulge people who live together and when things don't go right, the courts are going to occupy their time with litigation over vitamins. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Now, if things had worked out between the two of you, and she had her surgery, and then she went back to work, and then she could only work part-time, but everything was okay, we wouldn't be standing here. Things didn't work out, and all of a sudden, you and I are talking about vitamins. I mean, she, she agreed to pay it all back. She wrote out the debt she owed me. Good. Very good then she should absolutely pay that back. But we are in a court. We're done. Goodbye.